Ukraine was once used as a forward repository of weapons and ammunition for the Soviet Union, and much of that legacy remains, which Kiev is putting to good use. The Kiev Post reports how 60-year-old S-125 air defense launchers firing 40-year-old missiles was having success against modern Russian missiles and drones. However, this is not the oldest weapon that Ukraine has mothballed to fight the Russians. The Ruchnoi Pulemyot Dekt Yaryova light machine gun was designed by Vasily Dekt Yaryov in 1943 and while some made their way to the battlefield at the tail end of World War II, it didn't go into large-scale production into the Soviet Union until 1953. It was introduced in the 1920s and was intended to be used as a section support weapon that could be operated by a single soldier. The Ruchnoi Polemyot Degtyaryova was chambered for the 7.62 times 39mm M43 cartridge which became the standard small arms round for the USSR, Warsaw Pact countries and others used by the ubiquitous AK-47 beloved of freedom fighters the world over. It was considered by many to be the grandfather of the general purpose machine guns, medium caliber automatic squad support weapons such as the USM-60, the FN Mini-Me and the UK L-8-6 light support weapon. Considered by shooters as a simplistic weapon, it is precisely why the RPD had proved popular with armed forces the world over and is still used even after it was replaced by Kalashnikov's Ruchnoi Pulimayot Degtyaryova has an effective firing range of 1,000 meters with a fringe rate of around 650 rounds a minute and is fed by two non-disintegrating 50-round belts contained in a drum-shaped box magazine. In Vietnam, US Special Forces used these guns with cut-down barrels as an individual close-quarter weapon because it was so much lighter than the US M60, the box magazine was less liable to snagging and it had an impressive rate of fire. For those reasons and more, the Ruchnoi Pulemyot Degtyaryova is now being extensively used by Ukraine forces for trench clearing. These weapons were actively used by the Ukrainian armed forces during the Battle of Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine, which raged for 10 months from July 2022 to May 2023. Journalists and mill bloggers were shocked to see Bakhmut's defenders using a weapon that first appeared more than 140 years ago, the Pulemyot Maxima M1910 belt fed heavy machine guns. Pulimayot Maxima M1910 is Russia's version of the UK's Maxim machine gun, which first appeared in the 1880s. Moscow's version, as the nomenclature makes clear, entered service in 1910 and saw action during the Russian Civil War and both world wars. The use by Ukrainian forces makes it undeniably the world's longest serving machine gun. The war in Ukraine has proved that to not be the case and that has also breathed fresh life into the Maxim. At least 123 people have been killed in massive landslides triggered by heavy rains in the southern Indian state of Kerala. Dozens of others are still feared to be trapped following the landslides. The landslides hit the Vainad district on early Tuesday with rescue teams dispatched in the area. According to Chief Minister Pinari Vijayan, the landslide has wiped out an entire area. The landslides have hit several areas in the district, including Mandakai, Adamala, Koromala and Kunhom. Over 200 army personnel have also been deployed to help security forces in search and rescue efforts, according to official reports. Over 123 injured victims have been hospitalized and more than 3,000 people have been rescued and moved to 45 relief camps. The number of casualties are expected to be increased. Vainad, a hilly district which is part of the Western Ghats mountain range, is prone to landslides during the monsoon season.